Are you recording now? <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to the shenanigans. Today we are doing another pack battle. We haven't done this for quite a while. You may remember my buddy Yusuf, but today we also have my friend Eric. We are doing three packs each of Vivid Voltage, just because that's what I happen to have. Um, now, like I said, Yusuf did a pack battle with me a month or two ago. Mm -hmm. uh, Eric has not opened cards since the originals. Since the original? No, I didn't even open those, but... Well, if you remember, Eric did send you that binder full yeah. of all his original old Pokemon Yeah, I did, a, I did review his binder of cards several months ago, with ha which had a ton of really rare, cool cards from the original sets. A lot of cool stuff in that set. But today, again, we are opening a modern set, Vivid Voltage. Um... Which is honestly a really cool set. A lot of cool cards to pull in this. Uh, a lot of cards I haven't pulled yet, so hopefully we'll get some good cards today. So uh, I'll go first. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, cool. All right. So with these, because these are the sleeve boosters, it's really easy just to pull that open. Yep. Sort of. Well, and then just pull the pack out like that. Okay. Got it. Mm -hmm. And then you just toss the garbage over there. All right. Cool. So this has got the chunky chew on the front. Uh, the rainbow rare Pikachu V Max is probably still the rarest card in this set, um, but there are a ton of other cool cards in the set as well. All right, so we got the Focus, maybe? Mm, no, it's not going to focus. That's okay. Well, code card for you guys, if it focused. So what you do is you take one, two, three, four like that from the back, put them on the front. That way the energy will be on the front of the pack. Um, and I always start with water energy because that's my energy. And uh, let's see what we got. Uh, and it's actually steel energy. And it doesn't look like it's going to focus very well. Oh, there we go. There it goes. Cool. So we have Steel Energy. And a... I think it's a Macargo. Macargo. Ooh! We got Nessa, who is uh, currently my bae. Still waiting to get her back from Beckett, because Beckett has had my cards in grading for a while. Uh, I can't even see what that is. Or Swello. Charmander. A Chatot. A Joltik. A Cockney. I don't honestly see what that is. I can't tell, but that's okay. Uh, Oshawott. And a Yanma non-holographic. Or Yanmega, excuse me, non-holographic writer. So I got a dud for my first pack. Uh, Yusuf, you want to go next? Sure. I'm going to start off with the Zarude because that is my new favorite uh, after the original. I was say, because you, you saw the new movie, right? I did, and it's actually quite good for, nice. uh, for a Pokemon movie. Okay, so, uh, excuse me, I'm butterfingers over here opening up my... I was going to say, we don't have a lot... We're trying to cram yeah. three people onto camera at one time. And one of them's a little bit big. <laughs> well, two of them. So there's your code card for you guys. Cool. Got a Voltorb, which is one of my favorites. Voltorb's really cool. Got a Rockruff, a Winsmer, a Trubbish, which is just a bag of garbage. Okay. Yeah. A, uh, a, fur, a, reverse. Uh, fur thorn, a reverse fur thorn. Oh, and Cody, look at that. I got your Vaporeon right oh, there. Oh, you got a Vaporeon? Look at that, Cody. Oh, that's mine. There, that's I'm, his. I'm taking that. That's his. That's the rare. Yep. Got a Wonder Crocodile, a Hitmontop, and an Aromatic Energy. Okay. Nice. This... Honestly, I don't know if I have this one yet, because I have the reverse holographic of this for sure. But I don't know if I have the, the like regular of that. So, yeah. Sweet. Okay, sweet. So that, I mean, yeah. Team Vaporeon. Out, out, out of the two packs we've opened so far, that's the top pull. Definitely and top And I'm very biased against that. Oh, only a little bit. Just, just a little bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay, cool. Not gonna so lie, if I got a gold, gold pack, pack, So, so I'm gonna pick this guy, because that's, I think it looks like a werewolf. Yeah, that's Zerud. 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 I don't honestly know much about Zerud. him. I haven't watched the new movie yet. So let's see here. There you go. Cool. And a lot of times the pack doesn't match the art. So it's actually a Celebi pack inside of the Zerud uh, mm. uh, thing. It's okay. interesting. Well, you know, Celebi is considered the guardian of the jungle. And Zerud well, was in the jungle. That's that, that was my thing. Celebi's like... And she only appears... Um, Celebi only appears when times are good. Yeah. So when times are bad and you don't see Celebi yeah, around... Yeah, I remember that the about problem. the movie is she was like dying in that movie at the beginning. Yeah. She wasn't dying. She wasn't there. Is what it was. Interesting. Okay. So we got so we got the code card. I'll, I'll code. hold that up for you. Alright. Got a code card for another Vivid Voltage pack. And then so if you flip it over, mm -hmm. so you take one, two, three, four. Yep, exactly like that, and then put them on the front. The energy card should be on the front, so you can guess which energy it is. Alright. I'm gonna guess fighting energy. Fighting energy? And it's dark energy. It's dark energy. That's okay. 
Two dark energies in a row. Oh, shh. oh no, that's dark and stuff. Hello, darkness, my old friend, as uh, some people say. All right, so this is an electric. He looks like a submarine of some kind. All right, so we got an electric. Boom. How do you say that one? I think it's Delmice. It's like a big anchor. Oh, let me say that. It's kind of cool, actually. Oh, that's kind of cool for. Oh, I'm a captain. So. A stunkfish. A stunfisk. A the, stunfisk. The Galarian version, which I don't know what the difference is. This one is a steel type. I think the regular is a ground type. This one's adorable. Rockruff is adorable. Rockruff Rock is, is adorable. A cute pupper. You're welcome yeah. to keep any of the cards you want yeah. to. The second cutest puppy in Pokemon. Blitzy. This is. Blitzel. Blitzel. You see, I'm really good at reading. It's kind of a lightning zebra Pokemon. He's really good at ceramics. Cool. <laughs> Skiddo. Skiddo. Yep. It's some sort of like leafy dog thing. So Crush I've got two dogs. Oh, I like it. Yeah, it's kind of cute. Dog bush. Pharaoh seed? Yep. Pharaoh seed? Yep, yep. Pharaoh seed? So we've got... <laughs> Dory, come on now. We're recording. She's a good dog. She tries. So we've got Dedeen. Dedene. Dedede? Yep. Like, it's kind of like a Pikachu knockoff. Like, I think each generation has, like, a Pikachu version. All right, so I've got a holo here of some kind. It's a reverse holographic. So this is a... Loudred. Loudred. And is that a reverse rare or is that a reverse uncommon? That's a reverse uncommon. It's nothing crazy yet. And a... Manetric? Manetric. I think that's how you pronounce that? Yeah. Very cool. Manetric is the rare. So, so far, we've not pulled any hollows. Now, the thing with Vivid Voltage is normally when you open the packs like that, right... The last card is the rare, that's usually where the holographic is. With Vivid Voltage though, sometimes you can get a what's called an amazing rare where the uh, reverse rare normally shows up. Which is kind of like just as significant as... I love the uh, amazing the rare. rares. Yes, the yes. amazing rares are honestly probably my favorite like or rare. the rainbow rares. Those are good too. Well the rainbow rares are a secret rare, but those show up in the normal like rare slot. Okay. The amazing rares only show up where like the reverse rare would normally show up. Very underrated cards. Um, oops. Code card for you guys. We'll see. One, two, three, and four to the front. And it's, I forgot to guess it, but it's fire energy. Forgot to guess. He's on fire right now. I hope so. We've got a Trumbeak. We've got Nessa again. Dude, Nessa is my girl, and I can't wait to get her back from Beckett. We've got a Crocker Rock. A Rock Rough. Blitzel. Yeah, I spent $800 on this camera. It's supposed to have the world's fastest autofocus. Uh, Apparently doesn't. Yeah. We got a Skeeto. Another Ferrisseed. Another Dedene. Oops, focus. And this is a this is actually a reverse rare. Uh Tarakian. Yeah, I'm not familiar with you this know what Pokemon. It kinda looks like to me. It kinda looks like a Bantha. It does kinda look like a Bantha. Like an yeah. evolved version of a Bantha. Star but Wars that Star is Star. that is a reverse hollow rare, so it's technically a pull. And then we've got a Galarian Perserker as the actual rare. We don't have a full, like, legitimate pull as of yet. Okay. okay. So. We got uh, my boy Zarude right here on the front of the back. Zarude Sandstorm. And, uh, you know. Yeah, sometimes they're easier to open than others. Yes. Okay, oh, don't, so. Don't pull the cards around. Yeah, there. I know, right? So we got a, uh, you know, I'm going to keep that code card for, um, for myself right now, actually. Fair so enough. I'm gonna do one, two, three, and you, see. You keep doing that. Yeah. That that car is the energy. So put that okay. one on front. So this one's up front. Yeah. And four like that. There you go. The yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna guess. Um, I'm gonna say gold ducks my favorite. I'm gonna say water. I'm gonna energy. say fire. Just a spike. He's gonna say fire. What are you gonna say? I already saw it, so I'm cheating. Oh, okay. He saw. Okay, it. he saw it. So That's what, fair. so guess what's? I'm gonna. Okay, fine. And it's uh, steel. Oh, type. steel type. Steel. Okay, okay, fair enough. Yeah. That's neither of our guests. I so, stole it from him. So we got a. How do you pronounce that? Ferrothorn? Oh, uh, yeah, Ferrothorn. So we got a Ferrothorn, a Dewat. 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 Sorry, guys. Dewat. 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 Uh, a Mumu Cheese. Mumu Cheese. A Fanfi, which is like an elephant blanket. <laughs> um, uh, Yanama. Nice. Yanma. Yanma. Sorry. Um, oh, a Glaring? That's a Glaring Meowth, right? Yeah. yeah so I don't glaring like Glaring Meowth. Meowth. It's scary. I think it's kind of cool, actually. Well, it evolves it into... It kind of looks like a man yeah. man we yeah. got a Dust Skull, oh, okay. which is uh, perfect for a spooky time. Spooky. And uh, we got another Voltorb. Nice. Love the Voltorbs. 
Uh, oh, then we have a reverse, reverse hollow beldum. I think that's just a reverse hollow beldum. Okay. Nothing crazy. And the and a non holographic Yana Mega. I think that's what I got in my first pack. So I yeah, think I we, remember that. We, we've had all green code cards so far. So for those of you who don't know, when you look at the code card on the back, it's either green or it's gray and like white. The green code cards basically mean that you didn't get a holographic pull because they're heavier, quote unquote. Um, so you can't weigh the packs, whereas if you get a like gray and white code card, it basically means you have a holographic pull because they're slightly lighter. Again, it's to combat people weighing packs and figuring out which ones have the, the, the holographic pulls. Because like with older packs, basically if they're heavier, they're more likely to have a holographic pack or a holographic card. Mm. Fun fact. Go ahead All and right. get your uh, next pack. I've got this one. Look. That's Orbital VMAX. Or is actually, yeah, that's actually a pretty cool one. I think that's, I can't remember if it was introduced in Generation 8 or if it was like an older one, but pretty cool. It's like Psychic and Bug type. Pretty cool Pokemon. Kind of reminds me of like a UFO. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that was, that's the idea. <laughs> oh, oh, it's a matching. And it actually matches the sleeve. That yeah. should be good news, hopefully. Yeah. God, we got to get something decent tonight. Good grief. I'm hoping yeah. Eric does. I hope somebody does. I'm hoping we all do. Yes. <laughs> oh, isn't that nice? All right, so we've got the code card. Yep. I got that there. Boom. All right, so let's see here. Three and four. Yep, at right. the front. And then... Oh, I didn't guess it. I'm going to guess grass type. <laughs> he cheated. Hey, I admitted <laughs> that I cheated. I admitted that okay, I cheated. Honestly, I did not see that. I am an honest I, cheater. I, 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 I don't, I don't I believe you. I saw it. I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, so we got so the, yeah. the leap energy. Grass energy, yep. Uh, Zebstrika. Zebstrika, yeah, which is the evolved form of the uh, uh, Blitzel that we saw earlier. And then this is Dustclops. Yep. Which is like a psychic, I and mean, I think grass type technically. In the TCG, it's only psychic type. And we've got Beauty. Beauty. She has a nice full art in this set. Yes. I would love to get her full art card. It's a sneaky one. Another Dedenne. Another Dedenne. It seems to be a really common card in this yeah. set. We've got Drillbur. Drillbur, nice. Yeah. Drillbur. Oshwat. Oshwat, which I think was a starter for one of the generations that I didn't actually play, if I remember correctly. And then Duskull. Duskull, which evolves into the uh, other one we had there. Ooh, the uh, consistency. Nice. Yeah, you're getting good cards. Duskullops, yes. Yeah, Duskullops. And then Pharaoh Seed again. Pharaoh Seed, nice. All right, let's see what we got. Club. No, we don't say that. We don't say <laughs> that. Clubopus. No, we don't say that on this channel, <laughs> sir. I sir. I want. <laughs> sir, we don't say that on and this then, channel. What is this, Whimsicott? Uh, yeah, Whimsicott, which oh. is the uh, rare for that pack. So We've had horrible luck today, guys. Yeah. We haven't gotten any holo rares yet, or reverse holo rares. Last pack magic, though. Yeah, last pack magic. This is my last pack. I, I want something, man. Shoot, we haven't had a, we haven't had a regular holographic. We had a reverse. We had a reverse, which is something. But we need, like, we're, we need an ultra rare or something. Come on. All right, code card for you guys. One, two, three, and four to the front. I'm going to say lightning energy. I'm going to guess fire. Fire? I'm going to guess leaf. Leaf? And it's steel type well, because, course. you know, we're all wrong all the time. <laughs> we have a wash energy, which I actually might use for my deck. We have a charmeleon. Ooh, nice. Let me that's see. actually, yeah, that's actually a pretty cool card. Oh, wow, look at that. Penchurchin. Because there is a Charizard in this set. It's not holographic or anything, uh, but it's pretty cool. Aerocuda. Aerocuda. Ninkada. Yeah, this autofocus sucks. Picky Pick. Boom. Puchiena. Ooh, a reverse hollow Vaporeon. Oh, which that, shoot. Ooh, that is a that. win in my book. I'm Look keeping at that. that. Sure. And a non holographic Benet. So I didn't get Jack Squat, but I will take this hollow, reverse hollow Vaporeon because Vaporeon's my favorite. I was going to say, we got to be a little positive here. You've been looking for the Vaporeons for a while and you well, haven't had the greatest specifically luck. Specifically from Evolving Skies. Specifically from Evolving Skies. Because there's two car, two Vaporeon cards in that set and I haven't pulled either of them. He'd be happy with a full Vaporeon deck. Let's be realistic. <sighs> if I could, yeah. With, and a gold duck on the side because, you know. Gold, gold duck can. can... A. Don't, don't. <laughs> so, so it'll be on the front and the pack has. What was that one called? That's Orbital. Orbital. Specifically, okay. that's the VMAX version. Orbital VMAX. Okay. Yeah. Which, is, like I said, that's actually a pretty potent card in Generation 8, Sword okay. and Shield. So, I, I use him pretty efficiently. 
Ooh. Ooh. That's the first Ooh, white code card we have. So, so we're going to put that to the Ooh. side, yeah? Well, the, no, we can put that no, up. Okay. The, the code itself so, doesn't make a difference. It just means that you you're going to get at least a holographic. Okay, so one, two, three, and, and then the fourth, fourth one goes to the front. front like yeah, that. Yep, yep. Okay, so I'm going to guess fighting type energy. I'm going to say dark type. I'm going to stick with leaf. Leaf. And it's Ooh, fighting. Look at that. Pat on Pat back. On back. Pat so on he's the back. got he's got the first. He's got the luck, man. You yeah. got the first. Oh, okay. I see something shiny. So oh, what are you talking about? I see nothing shiny. I'm not peeking. I we see got a shiny. Trumbeak. Trumbeak. Right. That one. Oh, that one. This one looks kind of pretty cool. Oh, my Yana. My Yana. My Yana is pretty sweet. Yeah. That, put that one to the side. Generation actually. four, yeah. I think. Telescopic sight. Good card. A Rioli. You. Yep, Rioli. Sandile, the cutest puppy. That's not a puppy. The cutest puppy. That's not a puppy. Whalor. A Weedle. Oh, I like Ooh, there's so there's some yeah. of the original guys. Yeah. Um, here is a Beldum. Nice. A Reverse Hollow Dust Skull. Yep. And an. That's an Aegis Slash V. Aegis Slash V. So that's actually the first ultra rare pull we've had tonight. And of course, Ooh. I get it. Yeah. So you get that. Yeah. yeah. Son of a gun. Son of a gun. So he has the lead. Not that we've had really great pulls tonight, but. Uh, last pack goes to you, Eric. All right, Selby. We got a Selby. You've got to beat a, a Aegis slash V, which Should basically, basically any sort of ultra rare will do. <laughs> yeah, like anything, real. Yeah, a anything like a you know. Pikachu. Oh, is that? Oh, that's the Chonky Chew. Got the Chonky Chew. The oh. Rainbow Ray or Pikachu V Max from this set is the most sought after card from this set. Let's see if he gets it. If you get it, dude, I will. Hey, I will. I've had luck with Pikachu cards in the past. You have. You have, dude. Hey, I saw. Hey, well, like hey. I said, I went through your binder. There's a whole like page. Yeah, a whole page. Oh of no, Pikachu. we're we're, Pikachu. we're gonna discuss some of your older cards in a minute oh. here. I think. All right, so we got the QR code. We got the code card there for y'all. Nice. All right. Yep. Four to the front. All right, let's take our guesses. Um, I'm going to guess electric. I'm going to say psychic, because I never say psychic. I'm going to say that one type of energy that we always have. Steel? Just the one type of energy. Darkness? That one kind that we use. Is it is it is it G-rated? Yes. <laughs> it's it's the one kind of energy, you know, that one kind. Okay, so Eric's undecided, and we're going to go <laughs> I, on I from no there. Idea. Yeah, it's no a joke idea. that I do. Yeah. And it's we got fire. fire. I don't think fire. any of us guessed that one. No. <laughs> I guessed it because that's the one kind that I was talking about. Oh, of course. See, that's of the one course. kind. Of, of course. <laughs> so we got. Right, we got, got a Kakuna. Kakuna. Nice. Kakuna. Yeah, Kakuna. Classic. Guys. I'll keep Classic that one Kakuna. I like my Kakuna B drop. A Loudrin. Another Loudrin. I think we had. Did you have a reverse of him earlier? We've got a Winden Stadium. Winden Stadium. That's a Generation Eight thing from Sword and Shield, the game. A pick a peck. Picky peck. Picky peck. Some sort of bird Pokemon. I don't remember what generation that came uh, from. Mud Bray. Mud Bray. It's a horse wandering around in the dirt. A Joltik. Joltik. Oh, playing, no way. He seems to be playing with a plug, which That's is very awesome. insane. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. It's like some sort of furry bug electric. I wouldn't want thing. to find it in my house. Yeah. No. It <laughs> freaked me out. A Weedle. Another Weedle. Cool. Something else I wouldn't want to find in my house. And a Tail. Tail out. Tail out. Another basic bird type Pokemon. I think Tail out was Generation 3. Alright, a Chatot. A Chatot. Reverse Hollow Chatot. Reverse. And, and a rare. And a rare. Is an Alchemy. Non holographic. So oh, wow. out of, what was that, nine packs, we literally had one, one pole. Yeah, one pull. I don't one know pull. Where it went. It's in your hand. Oh, it's in my hand, yeah. of course. Yeah, there. The one pull we one had pull. was an Aegis slash V. Honestly, I'm, that's the I'm worst. You, those elite trainer boxes that you get. I have terrible don't, luck with those. Wait, no, what, what is the ones that you get? The booster packs, right? Well, booster boxes. Booster boxes, that's it. Because statistically boxes. speaking, when you buy a booster box, it's 36 packs. Right. Statistically speaking, you're guaranteed like at least one secret rare and at least like four or five other ultra but rares. You've been doing good with And those. I've been doing good with those. These. This is the first time, honestly, with loose packs like this that I've had this bad of luck. I will say, though, I did get this Vaporeon in a non-holographic version. I mean, you know, Vaporeon. So that, for me, is a win. Yeah. But really, like, this luck, man. So, Holy crap. Yeah, so I want to go back to Eric's original deck. See, now, Eric actually went to turn. Unlike Cody and I, he actually went to tournaments. When back in the day. Back yeah. in the day. Yeah. So tell him about your, uh, your Magic Carps. So I had a deck that was built out of several... Uh, variations of Pokemon cards and the dex trick was it was all Gyaradoses. Oh. And then I had a few um, what was the one that was the weakness? So Gyarados had the his, what was uh, the water weakness? 
lightning? Lightning. So, yeah, that's electric. right. Yeah, so Gyarados right. had a weakness to electric, so to counter that, I had a few rock-type Pokemon in there just to counter it. And the deck was almost unbeatable. And every time I played the deck, for the first few rounds, I'd just be playing Magikarps, and one after another, and they'd all be dying or something. <laughs> and people would be looking at me like, what's going on? And then when they figured out what was going on, and I had three Gyaradoses from three separate types of uh, variations of the Pokemon card on the on the field, I just destroyed everything. <laughs> I believe it. Gyarados is a powerful Pokemon, and that's the thing is like in in the video game, you have to get a Magikarp to level twenty mm -hmm. before it evolves to Gyarados, and that is a chore, man. Yes, yes it is. A chore. So yes, it I is. had the original deck Gyarados. I had Misty's Gyarados. Yeah. I had Team Rocket Gyarados. Oh man! And then there was wow. one more that I can't remember that I had all these Gyaradoses yeah. just lined up in this deck and Magikarp galore. So nice. were there were, was there any particular like tournament or, or battle that really stuck out to you at all? Yes, there the... was one. Okay. So this was in an official tournament, and it was the last round, and it was between me and another guy. I forget the Pokemon that he had, but I had a Chansey, and the original Chanseys had a move that had potential to do a lot of damage, and you had to flip a coin four times. If the coin landed on heads, you did so much damage. If it was tails, you didn't do any damage. So, let's say it was 10 damage, total possibility of 40 damage. My opponent had 40 HP. <laughs> and I, being the young person I am, didn't realize that I don't have to save my potion card, and my Pokemon has 10 HP, but it's a chancy with a possibility to get 40. Oh. And this was the last two cards. If I win, I win the tournament. So I say to myself, I'm going to save this potion in case I need it, not thinking things through. Oh, jeez. No, and I'm going to try to get all heads up. So flip one coin, 10 damage. Flip another coin, 10 damage. Flip another coin, 10 damage. And I'm on a roll. And the last coin, and everybody's staring at me, and people are looking at me funny because I didn't use the potion that would won me the game. I flipped the coin, and it was his tails. Oh, jeez. Oh, and so it was his turn, and obviously he, he destroys my Pokemon, and I lose the tournament. And that was like that was a big hit to me for, at first. And then I realized later on, I'm like, why didn't I use that potion? <laughs> well, well, I think we've all had things in life where we're like, why didn't I do X, yeah. Y, and Z? Yeah. So, yeah. Hindsight 2020. Hindsight 2020. is 2020. Yeah. Jeez. Not like the year. But, but um... Yeah. Yeah, some of the things that I had in that deck, that uh, box that I gave Cody, were uh, a bunch of old badges. They would give you little pins that were badges. I had some of the coins that, that would come in the uh, decks that you would buy. And I had some of the gold cards from, I think it was McDonald's or Burger King. I had two of them, and those are gold-plated cards. I thought those would be worth a lot. But, uh, yeah, that, that deck, that whole binder was all my cards and the decks got disjointed and my friend here put some of them back together which I am very grateful um but like it's the fa my favorite deck was that Gyarados deck that's pretty cool yeah now cool I, yeah aside from the Gyarados though did you have any particular Pokemon that you liked a lot like to use so back in the day with the original set Everybody wanted Charizard. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. That absolutely. was the char everybody had absolutely. to get Charizard. Yeah. And I had several Charizards. I had a Japanese Charizard that I think was holographic. Yes. Mm -hmm. I had a another language Charizard and I had English Charizards and I just hoarded those things like nothing else. I mean, those are the most valuable cards today, too. Yeah. See, I, I, I was a dino nerd, so I loved my Aerodactyls, and like for some reason I like gold ducks. Still to this day. <laughs> Why? I don't know, but I like them. Uh, cool. Well, I think I think we had a pretty definitive winner this time around oh, because yeah. we only we literally had one poll out of the nine packs. Yeah. So <laughs> congratulations there. But uh, let winner us know, by default. Let us know what you guys thought in the comments below. I think, like I said, we had some pretty bad luck today. But you know, it is what it is. That's what you get when you open Pokemon cards. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, be sure to hit the like button. I appreciate that. It lets me know you like the videos. Um, and yeah, subscribe if you want to see more content. I'm trying to do you know content every week at least, but. Stuff like this only happens rarely when I can get some friends together, mm -hmm. uh, which is always fun. But mm -hmm. yeah, so it's good to have you guys on the channel. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you all in the next, in the next video. video.